just uh, we're struggling trying to capitalize on opportunities when we, when we do get them. Um, and, and that happened today for our offense. And that was tough. You know, we didn't, uh, we had a lot of opportunities, I think, crossing the 50 one way or another, whether it be a turnover or just us getting the ball across there. And we had some critical holding penalties and chop blocks and penalties and some, a lot of different things that seemed to pull us out of there, which has happened now two weeks in a row with uh, getting across midfield and just, you know, five or six times a night getting enough points. And uh, we just, we're just not a very mature team. You know, it's just frustrating. Uh, it's really frustrating. You know, we, we, we go in halftime, we're doing all right, and we just, uh, we just don't know how to handle ourselves yet when we're doing some good things. And um, we got to grow up. Up until last week, the offense had been moving the ball very successfully against some pretty good defenses. What's changed in the last two weeks? Well, <clears throat> well we've. Uh, We've faced two really good defenses. I think Arizona State's got probably the most talent in the league on defense, and Cal, I think, statistically is first, second, and then in the conference. So uh, I think that has something to do with it. Our protection today was uh, was was not great. Jeff was being pressured tremendously. The two big corners that that were pressing our two outside receivers, Jared and Marquise, all summer, all all game, and that seemed to kind of negate us a little bit there and so Jeff had to hang on to the ball longer than we probably should have at times and that got to us and um, so they did a good job messing our timing up and we weren't strong enough against our corners to, to beat to win but that created some issues with us you know when we lost James Montgomery last week and, and, and Carl and um, and then in this game you know Chance Staten got back and then, and then we lost early at Marcus with the hamstring uh, and then and then we got real thin at running back and at receiver. The other issue is Daniel Blackledge went out this week, and I think we missed Daniel. Um, you know, he and Jeffrey Solomon have been give, gave us some spice there in, the, in that little run two, three, four weeks ago. And not having those two veteran players in there, I think, um, has stymied our offense to answer your question. Did they just put too much pressure on Jeff? To they did. They, 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 they did. No, I mean, does that those oh. losses? Does that put too much? Of a burden on Jeff to, to have to produce. I think so. Yeah, it does. And, and you're asking one guy to do too much, and you know our running game has to be better. When we had that one early drive or whatever it was in, early in the second quarter, you know we had a, a good balance of run, a lot of run in there, and, and we moved the ball down there, scored, and, and um, you know and once again finding our running game. And uh, you know our offensive line is just is. This is a war. I mean, there's been a lot of changes there, and we're trying to get consistency there, and sometimes that doesn't happen for us right now. Well, you lost Gino, too, uh, on a play. It seemed like it was a pretty high hit. Did anybody say anything to you about that? Well, yeah, a lot of people on our sideline said a lot about it. Um, yeah, just uh, you know what? We just we can't buy breaks. We're not buying breaks, <laughs> and it's been that way. And. Uh, you know, the only way you, you, you do that is you got to fight so hard that you you end up making, you make your own breaks despite everything else. And until we make our own breaks consistently, despite all odds, all odds you know, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to turn the corner until that happens. And we got to make them, and we got to act like we're 14 to 21 points down in every game heading into it. And until we are mature enough, have the ability to, to fight from that standpoint, then you know, then find ourselves struggling. What's the status of Gino after that hit? Definitely concussion, and uh, you know it's been really you know I, we, we, every week now for four weeks we've had a minimum two concussions in every game. Now Gino's was a legitimate, obvious concussion. We've had some that I even know kids got hit, couldn't even find it on film. And with these new rules and symptoms that they use, <laughs> we're running out of bodies. So we're down to four receivers, with Bennett Bontemps being the fourth. Um, that's all we got, down to two running backs in this game. We have four guys on the sideline, street clothes that could be playing. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's just, you know, I know this. We've got to work on our, <laughs> sounds strange, Patriots came out with something, and it's a fact that, that uh, mouthpieces and 
ones that are made by the dentist that they most everybody uses. I know Cal uses them. We ask them have shown to reduce that and uh, quality mouthpieces. Um, that's something we don't have. Something we need to look obviously really hard into in the off season, so we can avoid uh, the concussions because we have more than anybody else. Coach, how much does this one hurt? Just because you were right there the whole yeah. time and your defense played so well. Uh, it, 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 yeah, game. it hurts a lot. You know, I, this one hurts as much as any by a long ways, and just because we were right in it, doing all the right things, and we shot ourselves in the foot. And, we did a poor job in the third quarter coming out uh, flat on offense and defense and out of that easy score. That was a big turning point, you know. You can look at a few plays here and there, and the one real critical one I, was they converted on that third and 20 something when the ball carried, carried, carried half our defense like 15, 20 yards. I, you know, that, that was one we had to get. Should have got. We didn't get them. You think that drive is more if your defense was just tired because the offense really can't, hadn't been doing much and they've been out of the field for yeah. a, a long time? I mean, that could be a result. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, it, it could be. You know, and our, our players have been practicing hard. We've been pushing them hard, and uh, they've been practicing hard. Their attitude's good. I, you, know, they're, you know, you watch us practice, you watch us do things, you'd never guess, you know, what our season is right now record-wise. But they're, I, I really like, I like our attitude. I like about the fight. I like the consistent go to work mentality right now. It's the first time we've had that since we've been here and we've had it this year and it's that is I'm very proud of our players for that. You guys had some moderate success using uh, Jeff on some zone reads. And mm -hmm. Is that just an attempt to do anything you can to get the running game going? Or? Yep. We need to utilize him more in the run game. Um, to get more runs, and that's just the facts. And right now, for us, we're not in a position to not use him with where we're at. And um, so, if there's a little deception and then his speed, we, we need to utilize that. Uh, you'd said earlier that you were kind of hesitant to do that because it was health, but has yeah. it just gotten to the point where you, you have to now? Yeah, I mean, if we're going to try to win games, he's, he's going to have to do it with his legs as well, you know, to a certain degree. And um, we've been wanting to be careful, obviously, with him. And, and, uh, I think now as we're pushing here at the end, we, we need to kind of evolve a little bit more in that area to try to get some run game. Coach, you talk one more about not capitalizing on the turnovers, you know, the two interceptions yeah, in each half there and not getting any points from us. Yeah, real frustrating. You know, we we um, we had great great job by our defense, n number one, and, and then um, just sputtering in that, you know, that cross the 50 to 30 yard range. And... Uh, uh, to the third yard, we, we just have not. We struggled there last week, and we struggled again this week, not capitalizing. And um, you know, frustrating, you know. You just hope you keep yourself in position for a field goal try, and um, and we had a few of those, and there were two or three, I believe, today. And, um, so we need to get we need to get touchdowns.